Howdy Pokemon trainers and welcome back to Pokemon. Today we're doing another episode of the anime titled So Near Yet So Far Fetched. Well, the episode starts out with Ash, well, going through the Pokedex and trying to find out some new data. Apparently, there's a rare Pokemon named Farfetch'd around. But, in, before they actually go and look for it, Ash and Brock are going to go get some water. And Misty has her, them take her bottle too. But while she's arguing with her Psyduck, Farfetch shows up. She goes chasing after it, thinking she can catch it before the guys can. It looks more like the Pokemon's playing hide and seek and trying to lead her somewhere though. Well, Misty doesn't mind. She just keeps on running head first into any scenario that she can, eventually running into another person. Both their bags drop and the guy picks up one and hands it to Misty. I think he thought it was hers, but I don't think that's truly the case. But after Misty gets back and tells Ash and Brock what she was doing, she has a hard time explaining herself. Well, I don't blame Ash and Brock for being mad. After all, it's a rare Pokemon and Misty tried catching it all on her own. But Brock diffuses the situation by handing back Misty her water bottle. And she opens her bag to put it in, but all those Pokemon balls that she thought she had in her bag are just rocks which means all of her Pokemon she's ever caught are gone. But we hop to Team Rocket, and well, they're about to be tricked into a similar situation when Farfetch comes up and does a few tricks. But Team Rocket is disappointed to hear when that Farfetch has already got a trainer. Though it doesn't make much of a difference when we see that Team Rocket just kind of grabs the bag a trainer left and far-fetched and makes a run for it. But that both the trainer left seems a little bit sketchy. Now I know why. It's a trap. And all those Pokemon balls that they thought were in that book bag are also rocks, just like Misty. And that Farfetch is helping himself to Team Rocket's Pokemon. And well, they're not gonna get far considering they're all stuck in the water. Well, Farfetch can easily float on the surface. But we hop back to our heroes. Apparently, as I predicted, this trainer is doing it on purpose. Kind of a dramatic irony, if you will. Apparently, Misty is actually the fifth, making Team Rocket the sixth one for this kid to scam. But one problem, he forgot that some Pokemon have the ability to let themselves out of their Pokemon ball. But at the same time, it's not exactly good because it's Psyduck. But at the same time, Psyduck does get back to Misty and she's glad that at least one of her Pokemon are back, even being Psyduck, mainly because she hopes that Psyduck can lead her back to the rest. And that is kind of what Psyduck does, but Team Rocket's already beaten him, beaten them to the kid. And well, the kid is kind of clever and starts to slipperily walk and talk himself out of the situation by giving Team Rocket one of the two bags of pilfered Pokemon. Team Rocket's extremely happy about this situation though because they walked away with looks like 20 some Pokemon plus their own. But our heroes finally show up, better late than ever I guess. This little scam artist is trying to get away yet again but our heroes confront him and ask why he doesn't just battle well like any good trainer he says his farfetch is too weak and he doesn't believe it and ash goes right into the battle anyways bobasaur is actually relatively quickly defeated but misty wants to give it a shot but she kind of realizes the only pokemon she has is psyduck which isn't a bad thing because farfetch just keeps whacking psyduck on the head until psyduck's headache gets so bad that, well, Farfetch just sent flying with a psychic ability. He's going, he's going, and he's out. Well, back to Team Rocket. They start poking, popping open those Pokemon balls, and there's a problem. They're all Voltorb, and they all know self-destruct. But with that said, I think they learned their lesson, and so did this kid. Luckily, no one, uh, not a single one of the trainers are pressing charges for their Pokemon nor their bags being stolen, which I find a little bit unbelievable, but he learned that he can train Farfetch'd and actually win battles if he puts in the effort 
to help out his Pokemon, which is a great thing. Overcoming self-doubt, I believe, is the plot of this episode, and it fits its topic. But at the same time, I'm going to give this a 19. There are a few things that they could have done better. But now on to Pokemon time. We see Meowth, Psyduck, Bulbasaur, well, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, and Voltorb. But that's only six Pokemon. So for this episode, I'm going to give it a four. Can't really do much better than that. But now on to Opposition. Well, this time it was the scam artist trainer who kind of conned both Misty and Team Rocket out of their Pokemon. Well, Misty once and Team Rocket twice. I feel bad for them, but this guy was a much bigger threat than they ever had been. So for that, I'm giving him a higher score than I've ever given them. But at the same time, I think an 18 really just fits the situation. Now on to hero progress. Ash got absolutely nothing done because he was trying to help Misty get her Pokemon balls back that she arrogantly lost at the beginning of the episode because she tried pursuing a Pokemon after agreeing that they would catch it together. Well, sorry Ash, I have to give you a 2, but if it's any constellation prize, I would give Misty a negative 20 in friendship. But now on to entertainment. I kind of liked seeing the tables reversed on Team Rocket and have them being the scammed ones for a change. Not only once, but twice where they had the wall pulled over their eyes. But the trainer who was doing the scamming learned his lesson and turned over a new leaf. Sadly, Team Rocket's still gonna be just as evil as they've always been. What a shame. But with that said, I have to say I enjoyed seeing Team Rocket scam twice and a bad guy flip over to the good side. That means I'm going to give this episode, you know what, a 16. There are ways to make it more entertaining, but to fit the situation they were in, it was limited options. They could have definitely had Team Rocket punked a few more times, but after the first two, I don't know how they would have made a third or a fourth. So, you know what, let's increase that score to an 18. Now on to the chart. Well, for a plot we got a 19, Pokemon time was a 4, Opposition was an 18, Hero Progress was a 2, Entertainment was an 18, leaving us with a 61 out of 100 for total. The episode itself wasn't exactly what I'd call crazily bad, but it was definitely enjoyable to watch. There was just not enough progress made by Ash, and there weren't any Pokemon really to see besides the rare one, which was... Well, far-fetched. Well, as I said, the great episode could have been greatly improved in these categories, but with that, it's the end of my episode. So if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day, Pokemon trainers. Keep on catching, and see you all next time. Thank you for watching.